Hello guys, I'm Great Your Motives and welcome back to Fallout Who Vegas. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to maintain and repair your TARDIS should it sustain damage during flight. At level 1, your shield oscillators can make three mistakes before they go offline. By mistakes, I mean failure to reach the components in time like so. This is the second. And the third. And as you can now see, our shields are offline. Any further damage to the TARDIS will result in your master components starting to get damaged. As they keep getting damaged, their percentage will drop until the point that they are no longer functional. Eventually, this will pop up. Danger! When the cloister bell sounds, you will be alerted by a deep, distant bell going in a slow, warning fashion. This is to inform you that the TARDIS is in mortal danger, whereby one or more of its main components is below 25%. To overcome this imminent threat, you must either apply immediate repairs, pull off an emergency landing or pilot the ship to safety. The moment that bell goes is the moment you need to land. So you need to materialise as quickly as possible. Another thing to note is that if you use random components, it will not cause your shield oscillators to go down. Only if you miss one does it cause them to lower. Your master components on 11 steam can be found by pulling this big red lever known as engine release, hitting down underneath the console and you'll find them here. You'll find they have the Archon Capacitor, the Dematerialization Circuit, the Flux Capacitor, the Time Vector Generator, and the Power Cell. On 9 and 10's theme, you need to look for a lever in the same design but black. Using it will cause this compartment to open, and you can then take the ladder down. You'll find you have your Power Cell here, Dematerialization Circuit here, Archon Capacitor here, Time Vector Generator here, and on the end of the Time Vector Generator, you'll find the Flux Capacitor. Selecting any of these will give you a quick percentage of their current condition. Currently, they're all at 100% because I have not sustained any damage. If you materialize quick enough and sustain minor damages during a flight, go to Component and use it. You have the option to patch repair. If it's damaged, you can try repairing it without any components. Repair succeeded. As you can see, the percentage has gone up. Keep trying this again and again. It is possible to get the component back up to 100% this way. Please note, however, that if a component is on 0%, you'll have to replace it. If you try to patch repair a component and you fail the repairs, its condition will instantly drop to 0 if a component drops to zero, the TARDIS will start doing different things depending on which component is broken. So for example, with the main quest, if your power cell drops to zero, you'll find that you're unable to use the anti-gravity lifts, and you'll have to use the emergency hatches to move around the TARDIS depths instead. Also, all the lights go off, it's a bit dark and gloomy. Another example is, if the flux capacitor breaks, you'll get random bouts of slow motion. There is an issue with this, however, but I'm going to show you on how to fix it later in the video. If the condition drops to zero, you'll find that you'll have to either replace the component or use the self-repair system. Here's a quick demonstration on the self-repair lever. Currently, our arch and capacitor is at 33%. If we head up to the console and use the self-repair system, very similar to refueling, it will tell me how long it will take for the TARDIS to repair itself. Activating it will cut the lights and ask you to leave the TARDIS. Similar to the refueling effect, you'll get the repair effect, which is exactly the same but in brilliant gold Archon Energy. Like it said, it would take 5 minutes and while it takes the time to repair, you'll be unable to re-enter the TARDIS. 
Once it's done repairing, you'll hear that noise and you'll be able to re-enter. If we head straight back down, check on our arch capacitor, you'll see it's back to 100%. There is currently an issue where the flux capacitor is damaged and the slowdown effect keeps happening even after repairs with the self-repair system. At the end of this video, I'll give you a quick fix for this. So obviously, if you encounter this bug, you can quickly fix it yourselves. But first, in preparation for this, I'm going to teach you how to make replacement components in case they reach 0%. So I'll need to head on down to the workshop. You need to make your way down to the workshop to make a replacement component. Using your two workstations here, exactly like you did in the main quest, when you first got your tires to get the power cell back up and running, you'll need to create another component. So, we're going to recreate our dematerialization circuit. To do that, you need a controller diode, extratonic circuitry, extratonic wiring, and a quantum cell. Please see the Transdimensional Engineering and Screwdrivers video for an explanation on how to do this. And here's one I made earlier. So, now that we've got the dematerialization circuit, we need to head right back up to the control room. And here we are. We need to head right back down to our five mask components, find the one we wanted to replace, activate it, and then this option appears, only if we have it in your inventory, to replace component. Doing so, we'll instantly bring it right back up to 100%. If you fail to look after her master components and shields, eventually, when enough mistakes are made, this will happen. That horrible sound file makes me sad every time I hear it. So, if we head back down to our master components, we can find out what exactly has blown. 8%, that's not doing well. 33%, not doing well. 9%, not doing well. 16%, not doing well. So it seems the power cell's gone. Now, just like we did with the main quest, we can either go back down, replace the component manually, or we can use the self-repair system to fix it. If your flux capacitor breaks during flight, then you'll see the slow-mo effect I was speaking about. It keeps coming and going. This is one of the many effects that can happen if one of your TARDIS master components breaks. Now, I'm quickly going to explain to you the issue with it I mentioned. With most components, using the self-repair will fix the issue. However, it won't with the flux capacitor. While outside the TARDIS, the slowdown effect doesn't happen. It only works while inside the TARDIS. Once the self-repair is complete, you head straight back inside the TARDIS, and you'll notice that the slowdown effect is still working. Even if we make our way down to the engines, it said it's at 100%. So, we need to head on down to the workshop and make a replacement component. Once you've made a flux capacitor, head back up to the control room and we'll start sorting this issue out. Once you return to the control room, simply select it as you would to replace an all component. You can replace a component at 100%, so do not worry about that. Replace it and you should notice that the slowdown effect is completely gone. The team are already aware of this bug and are working to fix it. Right guys, that's all for this video. I've shown you how to maintain your TARDIS, repair its components when they become damaged, as well as completely replace them if need be. 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Any questions, ask them in the comments and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. Take care guys.